Okay, alright, so I have the shot here. Uh, even though I did not send in 1000 samples, this is not so much for glass. Uh, it's still not completely clean. Um, I don't really like the dust now. Like this, it's really, really good. I think we also have, we would really need to play with this HRI so we're not getting so much reflections. I think it would still go down on some parts a little bit with the glossiness as well on the bottle. And I definitely would play around more uh, with the color of the dust and of course how the dust is aligned but this is something that I said before anyway so you really just have to find a good map that is high resolution maybe paint it yourself and then use the exact same technique that I used here uh, to get this really really nice effect but here on the bottle as you can see this reflection and stuff like that I really like that also there's a little bit of, of see-through and some dust parts like here look really really good some other stone so we really would need to do some UV unwrapping and then map this like really perfectly he probably has done this but I think for this complete shot to really make it look great something between two to three to four hours is absolutely fine this is probably something that um, if you really know what you're doing what has Josh uh, spent as well I will just simply save this uh, file now as a 16-bit uh, here to the desktop and uh, open up Photoshop and we can make a little bit more of tweaks here to make this look a little bit better and get rid of a little bit of those really really shiny parts maybe a little bit better bring in a little bit more contrast even so we still have here a lot of um, noise going on so yeah let's just see what we can do with the picture that we rendered so far all right so here we have our bottles and let's go filter camera raw filter i mean it should just really be a little bit of post work now nothing too fancy like i said because this isn't really a full shot now anyway and we're still a little bit too uh, we would need to let this render longer anyway and stuff like that so yeah as you can see we could change here a little bit the overall color bring this a little bit more into a white bluish direction um, so we don't so we get rid of a little bit of this orange thing then we could bring in a little bit of a, a different color maybe something like this uh, change the exposure go down go up as we wish maybe even go up a little bit more um, play around with the contrast so bring the contrast down, maybe something like this, so we get a little bit more rid of those uh, white parts and let the dust stick out a little bit more. Then we could play with the highlights in the background, bring them in a little bit more into the reflections. And yeah, then we could play with the clarity, give this whole shot more clarity or less clarity, uh, really depending on us. I think a little bit more clarity here looks pretty, pretty good. Then we can start to um, play around here a little bit with the colors, maybe with the yellows and oranges we can access the dust a little bit more. Um, probably still won't get it where we want it to be uh, because the color is a little bit too far off. Uh, maybe something like this, take out a little bit color, something like this. Maybe the luminance a little bit more so it sticks out a little bit more here. Yes, and then we could also try to add, of course, a little bit of a vignetting effect here. As you can see, we're not looking that shabby anymore. And I think we have, yeah, it doesn't even look too bad now. I think with a little bit of post work, and I mean, this was now one minute or something like that, we're getting a pretty, pretty nice uh, shot, which is not perfect, of course, which we can still work on a lot. And also for the background and for the floor and so on and so on. But basically for this tutorial or for this lesson, what we did here, I think it looks pretty, pretty good. So we don't need to be ashamed of that. Uh, to be honest, and I really like these blue reflections that are coming from this HDRI as well. Um, let's just simply use your own HDRI for this one, check out different HDRIs, indoor HDRIs basically, um, yeah, and just simply play around with them and, and try what you can. But I think overall, for what we spend on this, um, it is a pretty, pretty good result and we don't need to be ashamed of that, really, really not. Okay, so please tell me in the forum if you did like this lesson and if you learned something and so on and so on. This is also feedback is important for me as well. And But I think, like I said, this technique is really, really easy. So I really hope you learned a little bit something about dust um, on bottles and wherever you want to use it, just simply use the same technique, doesn't really matter. Um, all, all I can say is lighting is of course always important and the dust texture and the aligning of the texture then to the bottle will be important as well as course and of course as the displacement effect how much displacement you will use and how the map holds up and so on will be important as well as well as the glossiness overall glossiness of the bottle but I think we're getting pretty pretty close here to Joseph's shot if I, like I said if I would spend one or two hours more uh, this would be no problem whatsoever okay guys so thanks for listening 
And um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this one and I'll catch you next time. Bye bye.